All right, guys. So first up for our balance work, we're gonna take a three point reach, okay? So I'm gonna talk about this for just a second. What we wanna do is reach forward while we step forward, okay? So I just wanna show you the difference. This is a tap and reach. This is a step and reach, okay? So the, there's a difference in where you move that body weight, okay? So we wanna actually step. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna help us on our recovery steps, okay? So we're gonna step to the front, step to the side, and then step to the back, okay? And when I step to the back, I just want you to watch here, instead of just reaching back and throwing my leg back there, I'm actually twisting my torso and twisting my body back, okay? So how far back you go, will be up to you. And hopefully after doing this for a month or so, you're able to reach further back there, okay? So we're gonna go all directions on one side, alternating with the other, okay? Follow me, three, two, one right here. Forward, side, and back. Other side, forward, side. Actually throw that weight to the side and back. Again, forward, side, and back, forward, side, and back. Keep it going. These recovery steps are really important. Think of it as next time you come across a hole in the ground, you'll be able to sidestep it a lot easier without injuring your ankles or your knees, okay? Let's get one more on the other side. Forward, side, and back. Perfect, I want you to just march it out, okay? We're not stopping here, no stopping. Our marching is our rest. All right, so we're gonna step in back hand. If you've ever done tennis, this should be easy for you. Again, it's a step, but this time, instead of reaching that hand around, we're gonna keep the palm facing in that, that one direction. Step in back hand, all right? Three, two, one, step. Stay on one side, step. Step, just like a tennis tennis backhand. Again, I'm shifting my weight. I'm not just tapping that foot out. After that three point, this should be easy. Give me two more. Good, march it out. We're gonna get the other side. Ready, we're going in five. Step in back hand. Three, two, one. Keep it up. We're twenty seconds in, twenty seconds to go. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. March it out, march it out. All right, so we're gonna go for a mambo. What's important about this is that you step forward. This back leg actually comes off the ground a little. And then you're gonna meet in the middle and step back. That leg comes off the ground, all right? We're gonna stay on one side, working for 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Forward, middle, back, middle. Slow it down if you need to. Keep it up. This is very challenging for the ankles. Should also be getting the heart rate up a little bit here. Don't forget to pick that leg up. One more. Forward and back. Good, march it out for me, march it out. We're gonna hit that other side for 40 seconds. All 
All right, we're going in five, four, three, two, one. Forward, back, forward, and back. Don't forget to pick up that foot. That's halfway, keep going. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect, march it out, march it out. For this next one, we're gonna go for a squat and calf raise. Again, it's all about the ankles here. We're not squatting all the way. It's more like a knee bend, okay? Again, good for, we're always reaching up for something that's a little bit taller than we are. And this is really good practice for that, all right? Knees are still, we're going to bend them slightly up on the, the he, up on the toes, I almost said heels, and lower down on the heels. I'll turn to the side so you can see that, follow me. Slight bend of the knee, up on the toes, slow lower down again. You don't have to bend the knee very far for this to be effective. These are good to do near a wall or next to a chair for stability if you need it. That's why we're doing this though, right? So the balance is better. Give me one more. Perfect, march it out. What I'd like for you to do is pause, hit the rewind, and go through all of those one more time, okay? And then come back right here, and we're gonna run through some cardio, all right? Follow me, we're gonna go for a tap and reach that same arm, same leg. You're gonna push the hand out and you're gonna tap that same leg out but in a different direction and then go to the other side. Go, work with me, side, side. If you're not used to doing these, it's gonna take a minute to adjust. That's perfectly fine, we've got about 10 seconds. The kids are playing, I promise they're not killing each other. <laughs> Give me one more each side. Good, march in place. We're gonna run through that one more time, but this time we're gonna speed it up, okay? So hopefully you've got the move down and you're ready to go. All right, three, two, one right here. Go into the music right here. If you're not quite at this level yet, that's perfectly fine. You can take the lower beat. Stay with me, we got 10 seconds. Last one, good, march it out, perfect. We are gonna go for a grapevine tap out. Actually, let's start with the heel tap. Progress you slowly there, keep marching, keep marching. All right, for that heel tap, we're gonna take both hands and push them forward as we tap the heel out, okay? So I'll turn to the side so you can see. Three, two, one right here, tap. Take your time, find the beat when you can. Really got those elbows working, shoulders working. Heart rate should be up. Don't forget to keep those shoulders down, don't allow them to creep up to the ears. Three, two, one, perfect, march it out. We're gonna do that one more time. I think that beat was perfect, but feel free to speed it up or slow it down as you want. Three, 
three, two, one, tap, tap. going if you want. Make it nice and big. Three, two, one. Perfect. March it out. March it out. Whew. All right. Now we'll go for the back to front tap and march. Okay. This is like a mambo, but we're not going to stop in the middle. Okay. We're going to go straight forward to back or back to forward. You decide. I like to go back to front first, especially if you're new to this move. Three, two, one, follow me. We're going to tap back, bring it forward, and march in the middle. One, two, three, other side. Back, forward in the middle. One, two, three. Switching sides. Back. Oh, I messed you up. Did I forward? <laughs> one, two, three again. Back. Forward. Notice I'm not picking up that leg this time. Back. Forward. One more time. Back. Forward. Three in the middle. All right, march it out. We're going to go 20 seconds with this march, and then we're going to try that back to front again. But this time we're going to speed it up a little bit, okay? Only if you can. If you're not able to speed it up, you got it for that day, then you keep it nice and slow, okay? But remember the goal is to get the heart rate up. Ready? Three, two, one. Back, front, one, two, three again. Back, front, one, two, three. Keep it up. You let the arms be natural, whatever they're gonna do. Ten seconds. Last one here. Good. Tap it out, tap it out. March it out. All right, now let's try that grapevine tap out now that we're nice and warmed up here. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go tapping two each foot, each direction, okay? Follow me. One, two, other side. One, two, out to the side. One, two, other side. One, two, to the back. One, two, other side. One, two, let's try that again. Front, one, two, one, two, to the side. One, two, one, two, to the back. One, two, other side. One, two. Let's go one more time around. One, other side. To the side. To the side. To the back. Other side. Good. March it out with me. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We're gonna do that again, but this time we're gonna pick up the pace. You ready? Three, two, one, one, two, front, one, two, side, one, two, side, back, one, two, back, one, two, again, front, two, other side, two, side, two, other side, two, back, two, other side, Two again. One more time around. Let's go. Good. March it out. Last thing we're going to do here is an alternating march. 
and that's where we take the march out wide and then bring it back in. Now how wide you go will depend on you, okay? March it out, and in. This is gonna cause a bend in the knee, hips to rock a little bit, we need that. Keep it up. I try to go out four and in four, but how far you go is up to you. Find something that works and keep with it. Our hips are used to going back to front. This gets them used to with motion, going side to side. Good, march in the middle right here. We're gonna do that one more time. All right, get ready. Three, two, one. Take it out. In. Out, two, three, four. Halfway. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right, guys, we're gonna cool down. I'm gonna give you a chance to get some water and then I'm gonna run you through some stretches, okay? Please do not omit the stretches. They are just as important as everything else we've done.